happening, man? Slides back with Sarah Weber. Hey. Yeah. She did good on that last Magnus answer, so <laughs> I said, let's do another one. All right. So, <clears throat> so listen to this. We read a little bit of this one, and we already knew what's going on. So it says here, hello, Tyrone. I'd like to start off with saying I watch all of your videos, and I'm a big fan of yours. Woo! <laughs> if you make a video, please keep my name anonymous. Um, Mario, you do not have to worry about me saying your name. My lips are sealed. Okay. Now, <laughs> he says, I would really appreciate it. My question is, two years ago, I met this girl. And ever since I met her, I had the biggest crush on her. She told me she only wanted to be friends with me. I was okay with that. She would text me every day and always asked me to hang out. One time, we even made out. I had a feeling she might like me too because I could tell uh, she really cared about me. But eventually, five months later, she texted me and told me that we couldn't hang out anymore because she felt as though she was leading me on and giving me the wrong ideas. So after that, she got distant. But to this day, we still talk, but maybe once a month, to catch up and she's even invited me to hang out here and there i just feel safe and so comfortable <clears throat> around this girl i know that's lame to say i was like i've never heard a guy say that but i, I think i know what you mean we all know that comfort mostly, level yeah yeah my problem is that it's been two years and i can't get her out of my head i met other girls and i've dated other girls but i can't get the other girl out of my head I've never felt like this about anyone else before. I would really love your advice, Tyrone. Much love. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like to go first or would you like me to? I'll go first. Okay. Um, I think that you should not talk to her anymore. I think that she's playing games with you. Um, she does, I do believe that, um, you know, based on what you said, she does care for you. Um, but... At this point, if it's been this long, it's not going to go any further. And I know that so sucks to hear. But the thing is, is like you haven't lived in the future, so you can't see yourself getting over this girl. But you will. You'll get over her and there'll be someone much better and there'll be a reason that it didn't work out with her. Yep. It's always like that. Whenever there's been a girl that I've been really interested in, like, damn, like, nah, I never got a chance to ask her out or take her on a date. It's just never, you know, years later, months later, I'm just like, you know, it wasn't supposed to happen. I can tell right now already, you know. So, um, but one thing I found was kind of interesting is that after she backed off, she um, kept in contact with him. But spor sporadically, once a month or so, uh, you guys talk to catch up. I'm thinking that she might have been interested in the beginning. Yeah. She might have been interested in the beginning, figured out that she only wanted to be your friend. A lot of times that happens after a makeout session. Sometimes you see, because you know, you know, you're you're all pumped up and ready to go, but if a girl doesn't feel a connection sometimes. That's true. Uh, okay. <laughs> if a girl doesn't feel feel a connection sometimes, you won't hear from her again. And um, I've heard girls tell me this before where they're like, if on that first kiss I don't feel a connection. I'm not gonna call them anymore. Okay, so they'll finish like the, the, the maybe the makeout session, <laughs> just to, you know, whatever. But they won't call you back. So I think she may have been. She was, you know, seeing you. She was trying to get a feel for you. You guys made out, and she was just like, ah, I'm just not feeling it. But I'll keep him as a friend. That's why you still get invited to parties and all this stuff. But you still like her. You're attached to her. That's the problem. You do need to let her go, okay? Uh, how about this? How about this? I'm going to be a little bit more gung-ho about this. <laughs> okay. How about this? How about you tell her how you feel, okay? What's the harm? Might as well. You only live once. Yep. YOLO. <laughs> yep. to, to, to tell her, you know what I mean? Because the, the worst is going to happen is that she's not really going to be in your life anymore, which is pretty much happening now you know? anyway you're still kind of cool but you you get invited places if she finds out that you still have feelings for her she's gonna let you know whether you two can move forward or not matter of fact i used to date a girl and she um she there was this guy that was stuck on her i mean for years 
And while I was dating her, he would still contact her. He'd be like, why wouldn't you give us a second chance, please? I can yeah. make you happy and all this other stuff. And she's like, look, I have a man. This and that. She didn't really want to be so hard on him and tell him, like, look, you're not what I'm looking for. You know, because they went on a date before, like one, one or two dates. And after the second date, he took one of her rings and he started wearing it. He was just stuck. They might have kissed. They never had sex. They didn't do anything. And he was already stuck on her. Um, and he was a beta male. Um, you know what that is, right? Yeah. Um, I should have her talk about beta males. <laughs> women, women don't like beta males. I think you need to keep in mind that, you know, you said here, um, I've met other girls and I've dated other girls, but you can't get her out of her, get, you know, her out of your head. Um, if she was interested in you, which you wouldn't know unless you talk to her about it, maybe she doesn't think you're, you're interested in her anymore. If you're dating other girls and it's been two years, two years is a long time. A lot can happen in that time. And you yeah. know, if you don't tell her, like, she's not going to know. So you might as well. And you know, if it doesn't work out, then then yeah. you know for sure. Yeah. But there's no reason to second guess it and always be wondering and right. what if, like, just do it. Yeah. Be a man. Exactly. Do it. And one alpha male trait, was funny, I was just about to say, one alpha male trait is to be upfront with, with, you know, with what you want from a woman, okay? Yes, it's okay to kind of test waters and see where things are going, but there is a point if you are in a tough situation where... Lucky's Lucky's crying. I think I have to change him. But um, uh, but you have to be upfront. And you have to let her know this is how I feel. If you don't feel this way, that's fine. If you never ask, right. you'll never know. Exactly. Oh wait, what is it? If you never <laughs> ask, the answer will always be no. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> there's always ways. there's a ton of <laughs> phrases that are just like that. Just All of those it. apply to this. At okay? this point, you have nothing to lose. You exactly. might as well. I want you to write me back on this and let me know what she I'd says. I'd like to know too. Okay. Thank you. Make sure you go and follow um, Sarah on all of her links. I will post them in the description box below. All and right. good luck, Mario. Right. <laughs> 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 One million subscribers. Woo! Woo! <laughs>